Mr. Vice President, as an expert on foresight, you already know what I'm going to say. Since nothing can surprise you, you must have a relaxing life. I envy you. I don't even know what I will have for dinner. What will I have? This suspense is killing me. Um, foresight, could you please just tell us what you have accomplished by 2024 regarding the unhealthy relationship between the Citizens Committee, which is the Petitions Committee, and the Commission? It seems like you have been ghosting us. Will you have started a couples therapy? Regarding second, how you managed to grant Parliament the right to initiate legislation, and three, regarding your job, making sure that all commission commissioners are clear of conflict of interests, including any presidents who may have close relationships with consultancies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Schemser, for, 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 for this uh, question. You're right. When I, when I, when I got... Uh, uh, the portfolio for foresight. It's true that uh, some of my colleagues have been asking me if I can now tell them what would be the next lot of numbers. And uh, I can tell you that uh, I do not have uh, that power and that uh, foresight really is not uh, about the uh, crystal ball. It's about uh, making sure that if we would use the best uh, scientific advice in uh, looking where the Europe uh, could be, should be, or want to be be it in 2030 or 2040, or how to get to what is so important for this house to the climate neutrality by 2050. And then uh, I think that science can give us very good advice. Will we get there if we, if we would continue with the current policies? Probably not. Will we get there if we improve our efforts a little bit? Probably not either. So what we have to do that actually that preferred scenario would become reality and how we would evolve from that goal all the necessary steps in the economic sphere, in legislation, in regulatory areas, so actually we can not only dream but build the better future for all of us. That's foresight, and therefore I think we need to discuss it here in the European Parliament, how we are going to uh, uh, not only present the future but work on it and which means and through which mega trends we want uh, to get there. So that, I believe, uh, uh, should be our common goal. And where we will be with the uh, Petty and Commission, I don't think we would need a couple uh, therapy because usually when you have a problems in a couple, the problem is communication. And I can assure you that I will talk to the Petty Committee as often as you would like me to be there. And I would encourage my colleagues uh, from the Commission to do the same and to answer citizens' proper questions. And on right of initiative, I think I already uh, elaborated. And I think that the uh, Uri Committee proved today that if it comes to the conflict of interest, you are pretty tough and you, you do not hesitate to use your powers. So I'm not afraid of that at all. Your mission letter says that you're responsible for the dialogue between the people and the commission, but what you intend to do is a monologue. So if you want people to care about what Europe is doing, you have to, to give them a say in what Europe is doing. To borrow from the consultancy speak that shapes your worldview, there is a huge human capital, capital to be unleashed, and there are Europeans who know more than you, who care more than you, who are more, who are more creative than you, and who would do your work for less money. Looking back into your crystal ball, what exactly did you do to give them power? I think that uh, to, uh, together we, we did a lot. Uh, I think that if I have to look at uh, my performance over the uh, last uh, 10 years, uh, I think that uh, I was probably one of the most uh, uh, frequent interlocutor with our citizens in uh, uh, the citizens' dialogue, and probably I visited the, 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 the most uh, European Parliament and regional councils that other commissioners, not because I'm that good, but because I was here longer and it was part of my job. And now the good thing is that uh, our president-elect uh, wants all of us to do the same. She wants us to visit all member states uh, 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 within the first half of the mandate. And of course, we are not going only to talk to the, to the ministers or the parliaments. We want to talk to the people. 
And uh, I would appreciate any concrete suggestions you might have how we can improve it. We are consulting the people through uh, the platform Have Your Say. I know that it's not ideal. We are trying to interact with them through the social media. I was testing different ways how we used uh, the Facebook platform to talk to the uh, young people, and I was myself surprised that uh, one discussion like that brought us 30,000 young viewers. So let's be creative, and I'm sure that the young people would be able to tell us how to do it better, and we are ready to listen and learn. Thank you. The next question.